Hey everyone, it's Phil and Vanu back with the Athlete Spine. So today we're going to talk about one of our own local prospects, um, uh, Obed Vargas of the Seattle Sounders. Yeah, and so Obed's actually been a really interesting and actually fun story over the first half of this year. I mean, he's 16 years old, so practically a kid, and he's actually played a lot of minutes for the Sounders early in the season. He was actually a, a critical player in the CONCACAF Champions League final that we won uh, just last month. Uh, but unfortunately, he's been having some back pain over the last couple months. Yeah, and so back pain, as you know, in athletes is really, really common. He's kind of been toughing this out for the last couple of months. But in the last game, most recently with LAFC, he, the pain was really severe. And the team uh, did some further tests, and they found out that he had what looks like a stress fracture in the lumbar spine. I know you hear the term stress fracture all the time in athletes and all sorts of sports, right? And we know that stress fractures can actually present all throughout the body, your arms, your legs, but it's actually a problem in the spine as well. And, and given his age, right, of 16, it's very common for an adolescent to actually suffer this type of injury in their spine. And when this occurs, it's often in an area called the PARS. So what is the PARS? So the PARS is actually short for PARS intraarticularis. I know that sounds long, but what that means is it's a portion of the bone that's pointed to by the arrows here that connects two joints in the spine together. And as you can see, as the spine undergoes a range of motion here, that the uh, bone above it can actually act as a nutcracker and put stress on the pars area and cause it to either have a stress reaction or a frank stress fracture. Now, these injuries are actually quite common and the athletes that we think about that, that commonly get these are gymnasts, divers, football linemen, any athlete where their back is subjected to repetitive motion or re repetitive extension. Yeah, and, and you know, very similar to Ovid, you know, it's, it's generally back pain, you know, sort of right near the region where the, the stress reaction or fracture is that they feel pain. You know, we, we often hear spine injuries where you have pain shooting down your legs or there's numbness and tingling. And although that can happen, generally it's really just localized to the back. That's right, yeah, and, and again, these are really, really common. In fact, there are people that have these PARS defects or PARS fractures or stress fractures, which are all essentially uh, interchangeable terms and not even know that they have it. And so people can be walking around, one of you may be walking around with a, with a PARS fracture and not even know it. The good thing is that most of the time these are pretty benign, you can do anything that you wanna do. And in fact, with Obed, the team is gonna be looking for um, a period where he's gonna be undergoing some rest and trying to wait this out and see if just some rest will allow this to heal on its own. What other sort of treatments can uh, yeah, we expect from and, and I think that there's a lot of different treatments that are non-surgical, and I think that's what's important here because, again, at this age, you know, surgery is something that can be scary to think about. Um, so most oftentimes it's rest, right? Stopping those activities that aggravate the pain and maybe taking some anti-inflammatory medications. And, you know, the big question is, when can we expect him to come back? Yeah, so the most important thing here is, you know, with treatments like rest and, and potentially bracing, if, uh, he, if he's responding more slowly, oftentimes it can take about six to eight weeks for that inflammation and stuff to calm down. After that, once he is pain-free and able to go through normal range of motion without pain, at that point, his trainers and the, and the medical staff of the team are gonna start to put him through some sports-specific activity and rehab him back to sport. He could be back, depending on how quickly his symptoms resolve, as early as six to, six to eight weeks out from the time um, from, from now. Could be as long as 12 weeks. It really just depends on how he responds. And I mean, you bring up a good point with this timeline, right? Because everyone's always focused on the timeline, but it's not just a strict timeline here, right? There's two really important aspects to Obed getting back, and that's one, that he can actually develop the range of motion, which is the flexibility of his back, you know, to the point it was before he started feeling pain. And the second, even more important, is that he can actually perform all of his daily activities and sporting activities without pain, right? Those are the two main criteria that he has to fulfill before coming back. Yeah, it's one thing to be, be pain-free when you're just sitting around and not doing anything. It's another thing to be, to be pain-free when you're out on the field yeah. and, and, and trying to win a championship. So, I mean, the bottom line is this, right? We, we hope that, for Ovid's sake, that this won't require surgery, right? And that this is merely a stress reaction type of injury. And that over the course of the next two to three months, he'll probably follow up with his spine specialist every two to three weeks just to you know, see how the recovery is going. 
but he should be able to be back, you know, in that two, three month window and in time for the Sounders playoff run at that time. So yeah, that's it for today. And yeah. thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram. And uh, until next time, it's Phil and Vainu with okay. the Athletes Fine. Take care, guys. See you later.